if you go down to the beaches, you can see homes that look literally like they were shot with a giant shotgun. There'll be a hole in the front and the back looks like the home was blown out and everything in there was just pushed into the streets, pushed along with the giant storm surge. And so entire contents of homes are just emptied out through streets, neighborhoods, backyards, and even in some cases on top of other houses. Well, there's two main reasons why you want to get it out of the neighborhoods quickly. The first and foremost is the health reason. Um, this is mixed with a lot of household wastes. You're going to start getting mold, mildew, and you just don't want to be around these large piles. They breed disease, they breed bacteria, everything else. The second is they block the roadways, they block the right-of-ways, they block traffic. And you, in order to get some sort of normalcy back in those areas, you've got to clear the way for people to get in there, get to their homes, and start rebuilding their lives. Uh, at this site here, the Corps is responsible for moving these piles of debris that you see. All over Staten Island, there are what are called TSSs, temporary storage sites. And this is where they collect the debris from the local neighborhoods and areas and get them in one central location. And the debris from those areas are being trucked in here so that then we can, one, load them with the large crane onto barges and they go up river to Albany, Pennsylvania area. Here you just see huge piles of debris, but also in those piles you see the personal touches of people's lives. You see f photographs, you see photo albums, memorabilia that people had in their homes, clothing, and uh, the sense of the scale of the tragedy starts to hit you a little more when you see how much is starting to pile up. But we know we're getting it out of here pretty quickly. We've already sent 12 barges up the river full of debris, and each one of those barges holds about 2,000 cubic yards, and the pile keeps getting smaller and smaller by day. So we know that the debris out in the whole areas, that we're actually getting it out of the areas.